Hi, I'm Band Colour Sergeant Doug Scott and this is the French horn. The horn is made up from a coil of brass, approximately 11 foot long that gets wider throughout the instrument, from the mouthpiece all the way to the bell at the other end. It's a member of the brass family because in order to make a sound like other brass instruments, you must buzz your lips together into a funnel shaped mouthpiece like this. You can play quite a few notes by simply changing the shape of your lips or embouchure. These notes are known as the harmonic series. To play the remaining notes, you must depress these valves, which redirects the air through different lengths of tubing. Longer tubes for lower notes. And the shorter tubes for the higher notes. You may have noticed that I'm using my left hand to press the valves. That's because my right hand is cupped inside the bell. Many years ago, before the horn had valves, players could only change the notes by changing the shape of their hand inside the bell. This was a technique called hand stopping. But the drawback was that not all notes sounded the same and some were lacking in volume and tone quality. And I'll demonstrate this by playing a scale using the hand stopping technique. <laughs> Because the early horn was a fixed length of tubing, it was limited to the harmonic series of that particular tube. So horn players had to carry with them a collection of different lengths of tubing, called crooks, in order to play in different keys. They would simply take one crook out, like this, and insert another one in order to change key. Carrying all that metal tubing around wasn't practical and was not the quietest when changing during a piece of music. But all this changed in the early 1800s when the valve was invented and eventually incorporated into the French horn. This type of horn is sometimes called the double horn and is pitched in two keys, F and B flat. You can switch between the keys by using this valve with your thumb. This gives the instrument a very wide range of notes from the very low up to the very high. The French horn is a great fun to play as it's so versatile. It's used in a number of musical combinations such as the concert band, the marching band, the wind ensemble, brass ensemble and the symphony orchestra. Sometimes you're part of the background texture, sometimes you get to play very beautiful tunes and other times you take all the glory with some blazing heroic lines in the very high point of the music. Thank you.